My name's Jack O'Neill, and my story began not so long ago on a pleasant spring afternoon as I rode my motorcycle through the countryside. Unknown to me, events were taking place that would change my life, perhaps the lives of everyone forever. It all started with a spacecraft pursuing a speeding car. I understand what you've told me, alien. I will continue your quest. They call me Goldwing, and you and your drones have met your match. Even the little ducks have someone to care for them. I can't bear it. I know, Doc. I'm just shaken up. Don't mention it. Our goals are similar. You can count on me to protect you when you're in trouble. So long for now, everybody. This is very strange. It's all very ominous. Now for a deeper look. Armory. Operations. That's Marzak. Okay, crew. Let's break through that cavern wall. In we go. A bolt of energy should revive him. Marzak. Marzak, wake up. We owe our thanks to Marzak, crew. He gave his life to save us. Karzun, your time has come. I have survived. Now you will pay for your treachery. Don't be so sure. <laughs> Run all you want, Karzun. It's no use. I'm really plain old Jack O'Neill. Wouldn't you like to come back and learn about Earth? Thank you, Mariner, for everything. Goodbye, Mariner. Let's go home, gang. My brave warrior drones and robots. Soon the wretched Goldwing and his forces will attack us here, but to no avail. You will fight and win. And when victory is ours, so too will be the Earth. Fight or die! <laughs> While Goldwing seeks me in the mountain, I shall be en route to an orbit of Mars. The self-destruct command will catch him there, and he'll die in the inferno. <laughs> I'll tear you apart! Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> You, Goldwing! <laughs> uh, look out! I'm over here uh, now! Uh, oh, no! Wrong! Over here! But I've got a surprise for you! Now I can see your true identity! Die, young Earthling! No! no. <laughs> no. <laughs> huh? uh, you traitor! Uh, die! I can hardly believe it's been 10 long years since Jack's father, Dr. O'Neill, a truly brilliant scientist and my friend, died and left me with Jack. Jack was so little then and cried so much at losing his father. My Bonnie was his only friend. He was always very timid and the other children would ridicule him. He never joined in games with the other boys. He would only sit apart and watch. But he's grown into a fine young man, intelligent and kind-hearted, although still a bit shy. I hope I've done my best for him. Duke, will you please bring what we need for our little demonstration? Marzak, I think you'll find this experiment quite interesting. Now watch carefully. It has a timing device that will delay detonation three seconds. One, two... Three! I recommend we keep this top secret, General. If the peoples of the world were to find out about this, it could create a great panic. As you can see, it is of the utmost urgency that we locate Carson's base and destroy it before he can complete the Bronze Man and program him against us. We need your military reconnaissance to accomplish this. Hello, Dr. Svensson speaking. Who's this? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Our worst fears have been realized all too soon. I'll have to formulate a plan on the way. Well, there may be a way. Perhaps, perhaps, maybe we can get control of it without destroying it. Marzak? Marzak, why? What? Are these are the exact coordinates of Karzun's base. Why tell me? Oh, I see. Very well. All right, General. Now that we have the enemy's exact position, I think we should send the Bronze Man to attack immediately. No, Father. Listen. Father, I think we should give Marzak another chance. 
Yes, and I'd like to go with him this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marzak, here's our chance. Let's get moving. Heat indication's normal and steady. Prepare for surfacing. Excellent. It couldn't be working better. Our bugging device is sending back the information. And those are the plans for the Bronze Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Marzak, this mission has been a complete success. And all without interference from Goldwing. I've been waiting to come face to face with you, Goldwing. I'm afraid you've met your match. Let's go, Marzak. I'll use my neutron whip on you. What a brave man Marzak is. Goldwing and his panther are surely too much for him are more important. It's Marzak! No, Marzak, you mustn't. You can't. No, Marzak, don't. You'll be killing my father. Uh, oh, Marzak. You killed Marzak. Oh, poor Marzak. I don't believe it. Marzak! Oh. Uh. Marzak, I've come to free you. We're all in danger. Jump now, Pentel! Karzun! One more step and I'll kill you, Karzun. You killed my father. I won't let you kill again. That criminal finally got what he deserved. But you have changed greatly. Thank you, Jack. I shall return to Tau Ceti, but keep you with me in my heart. I'd like to, but I need to see my home planet. And I must immediately return the Star Fortress to the proper authorities. Let me leave you with something, though. I have restored your superpowers through Pantera. I have faith in your ability to use them wisely, to always preserve peace and justice. Now it is time for me to go. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, my friends. I'll return to Earth someday to see you with Pantera. Until then. <laughs> that robot is ours if you like it or not. Don't be foolish. Look around you. <laughs> Out of the car. Can't you hear me? Quickly. You can't get away from me, kid. <laughs> Don't think you can escape from me. Come out of there. What in the world? Who are you? Where did you come from? Why, you? All right, men, let this laughing boy have it. You fools. How could you let him beat you like that? Oh, my commander, the mission, just the same, your excellency. Uh, good. Dr. Svensson's retiring for the night. <laughs> Prepare for subterranean approach. Increase in velocity. Don't worry, that's not gonna stop us. I'll just activate the neutralizer. Smoke too soon. Look, it's Goldwing. Watch out for the panther. Be careful, Marinam. You wretch. Missed again. Marinam, you must deliver the plans. I'll stay back and hold them off as long as I can. Get going now, Marinam. Run. I'll take care of Goldwing. Not so fast, Goldwing. So they took out all the bullets, huh? huh? Nonsense! It's a lie. You're just making it up. Nah, he wouldn't do that to me. He'll get me out of here. <laughs> He'll protect me. Thank you, Commander. I'll not forget what you've told me. <laughs> Karzun, you filthy wretch. I'll get even with you for this. Uh, you, you. All right, I'll tell you. His base is hidden in the Himalayas. Its exact coordinates are, uh, huh? Uh! So it was close then, Dad? Huh, ah, oh, shucks. I want to show off my stuff. You wouldn't have needed no Goldwing there with me to protect you. Why, I could have taken on those guys single-handed. Last one to the middle is a rotten egg. Huh? Oh, boy. What's going on here? Hey, guys. Okay, where'd that coward Jack go, huh? Where have you been? Little Nelly was almost killed, and all you could do was run away. Ah! No, no, get away from me. Shoo, shoo, get away from me. Ah! Oh. Oh. Uh. It's like trying to climb a tree to get some apples. This should be a breeze. I don't give up that easy, huh? You big hunk of junk, huh? Owie! Okay, I don't... You big rattle trap. Boy, am I in 
the soup now. I really blew it now. Oh, no. Hey, I'm sorry for what I said. I'm really, really, very, very sorry. I'm so sorry. I just don't know how to make it up to you. I'm just, I'm just very, very, very sorry. I just don't know what to say about it. I... Who? What? Where? I'm still alive. I can't believe it. I guess I showed that tin horn I'm boss around here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I still did a lot more than Jack did. He was so scared, he just ran off into the woods and hid. He didn't crawl back until the action was over. What a shame nobody recognizes raw courage when they see it. Daddy! Daddy, do you know where Jack is? Oh, oh you pig! Those are for Jack! Oh, 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 Daddy! Oh, 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 oh. Jack? Jack? Have an apple! I've been saving it all day just for you. I want Jack to carry me. Aw, he's so tiny. And I think he wants his mother. Look, Jack, there's his neck. I still think Goldwing could take care of a big fat so like you. <laughs> You'll never get in shape if you keep stuffing your face. Oh, yeah, and Duke could sure beat Goldwing at an eating contest. <laughs> fantastic to operate. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. What's this guy doing? No, Daddy, you mustn't. Please don't do what he says. Oh, no. What are we gonna do now, Dad? I wonder what happened to Jack. Look, Daddy, there's someone up ahead on the road. But how in the world did you get here? Me, too. Too bad you weren't there, Duke. We could have crushed them by rolling you down on them. <laughs> oh, poor little thing. He must have fallen out of his nest. Look, Nellie. Hold it. Steady now. Duke, don't fidget. Almost there. Oh, sure. You'd run away if he showed up now. <laughs> Jack, why don't we go for a walk down by the river? Did you hear that? It sounds like Nellie. Thank you ever so much, Cold Wing. That's right. No, Doctor. He disappeared quite some time ago. Right behind you, Duke. And? I'll take over from here, Duke. Gold Wing. Duke! <laughs> How can you be so rude? <laughs> oh, Duke, how could you possibly think of eating at a time like this? The safety of the whole world depends on us. How did you get here? Duke, share some of those apples with Nellie. Nellie, better hang on tight. I don't like it. It seems deserted. Look at that explosion. Just think, it was intended for us. Phew, what a narrow escape. We are not finished yet. Roger, Goldwing. That means Goldwing must have been victorious. You failed, Carzoon. Prepare to die, Carzoon. <sighs> Don't stand in my way. Step aside. You are not of his blood. He abducted you and killed your real father. No, Carzoon. Your drone warriors slew Merinam's father and you <gasps> tried to kill me. But your time is at hand. I'm putting a stop to your cruel ways. Oh, Goldwing. What brought you here? Not me. Karzun tricked you. Look down the length of that corridor. At the end, there is a chamber in which Karzun planted a self-destruct mechanism. He must have set it to go off while you were here. We can't have much time. Go without me. He left behind a group of scientists he used, locked up further inside. I'll release them. Karzun is orbiting Mars in the Star Fortress with Merinam hostage. Go battle Karzun. Go! Farewell, Goldwing. Quick, get out of here. This place is rigged with a bomb. You only have a short time. Run for the surface. Move it! Go! You want to die here? Run for your life! Run! Where's the display panel? Ah, over there. Past the board sequence. Can't stop it, but hope to slow it down. I can only delay it. I hope this gives them time. Oh! <laughs> 
I hope that gave them time. <laughs> but we're only a teensy wincy behind old Grand Carzoon. Eh? Can you imagine those silly nilly sending a fat kid against us? Here's our chance to whack him good and proper. Yes, sirree. A job well done. Nothing left but to wipe our feet up him. I can assure you, this malfunction is n n n n my fault. Oh, great and powerful. <laughs> hey, boss. Huh? I think I've had a brainstorm, and I think, with a little psychology, we can regain the Bronze Man. We can use Marsac. <laughs> uh, looky, looky, boss. They're falling into our trap. There are no planes in outer space. Oh, Carzoon. What an interesting weapon. Monster! Please, uh, I didn't want to help him. No, I really didn't. Uh, I was only following orders. He made me. He made me really. <laughs> now I will follow your orders. Here we are. But you had me, eh? <laughs> There's no escape from that chamber. <laughs> Not in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> now Carzoon will be proud of me for once. <laughs> Some time ago, I imprisoned a criminal known as Carzoon, but he escaped and sought vengeance against me. He stole my daughter from me and fled to your planet. Kazoon also took my plans for the construction of a star fortress. I suspect he is building the fortress somewhere here. Once it is completed, his power will be terrible and a threat to your own people. I tried to destroy him and rescue my daughter, but his drone warriors attacked me. Goldwing, please save my daughter for me and the Earth for your people. I have endowed you with extraordinary strength, intellect, and courage. And I have given you a suit woven of an electrofiber. My injuries are fatal. Soon I shall be gone. I have little time left. Now, go, Goldwing. Your companion, Pantera, will aid you in times of trouble. Good fortune always, Goldwing. But is that all you can tell us, Doctor? Hmm. Before I can authorize such action, I'll need to question the prisoner. Don't worry, Doctor. I will dispatch that reconnaissance squad to search for Carzoon's base right now. What is it, Colonel? Carzoon. Maybe Dr. Swenson. All our weapons are useless. Relay the order to cease fire. Hold it up. Thank goodness you're here, Doctor. And not a moment too soon. Grenades, missiles, everything we level out, it bounces off without effect. It seems indestructible. It's moving again, Doctor. Can we make it stop? Let's hear it, Doctor. Your plan to stop your runaway robot. Go on. Well done. Look over there, Dr. Swenson. Tracking subject. Commence firing sequence. Fire at will. Affirmative. Zormac destroyed. Approaching orbital insertion phase. Confirmed. Ready systems. Ready retro sequence. Fire at will. Elevation. Mark setting. Fire. Destroy intruder. Hey, watch it. Tell us, Doctor, how strong is the Bronze Man? Jack, my darling. We, we love you. you. Be careful, son. We, we love you. Task Force Zero Niner commencing authorized flight schedule. Over. That's in the firm tip flight control. Over. T minus 35 minutes to primary sweep area. Over. Roger, flight leader. Over. Entering search coordinates. Assume search configuration on signal. Over. Command received. Over. All right, here we go, boys. Signal go. Yee-haw! General, the bronze man's been completed and it's headed our way. The damage is awesome. Even the thermite missiles and bombs have failed to stop it. To go. Yee-haw! Oh. 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 Oh.